Hey everyone, I'm finally back at the range again. And I'm just going to jump right into it. Today, I have a Heritage Rough Rider 22. It is a 6 shot single action 22 revolver. And uh, you can also get this in a 22 Magnum. You can get a 22 Magnum cylinder and just swap it out. Uh, but this is the 22 LR. You cannot put magnums in the cylinder. It will not fit. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. So I haven't shot this yet. And today I got seven different types of ammo that I'm going to be shooting. I'm going to be shooting them in the order of my least favorite to my favorite. So I'm going to start out with arms core. And then I got Winchester Super X. I just put them in here and labeled it. So that's Winchester Super X. GTI Standard Velocity. And then I got some Federal. Uh, then I got Blazer. Mini Mags and Stingers. So a little bit about this. Uh, this is the 4.75 barrel length you got your loading gate right there and you also have a safety right there so that's fire and that's safe so to load this you got one two clicks and then you can spin the barrel and you got four clicks on the hammer, so you got one, two, three, four. And then let it down. That's your loading gate. And you cannot spin the cylinder until you half cock it. So, I'm going to start out with arms core. This is my least favorite because I've had so many issues in five other different 22 guns. So let's see how they run in here. So I'm going to open this uh, loading gate right there, half cock it, and then you just load in each round as you spin the cylinder I'll go ahead and get this loaded up all right I got six rounds of the arms core all loaded up ready to go so just gonna put the safety off and hopefully they'll run okay Alright, the third shot did not go off. I was expecting that because armed core is not my favorite. I do not like it. So go ahead and keep going. Third shot did not go off. Alright, that was all of them. So, to unload this, you half cock it, go ahead and put the safety back on, half cock it, open up the loading gate, and then right here is your ejector, you just push that back, and the spent casing comes out. Here's the third one that, uh, or was it the third or the fourth that didn't go off? All right, yeah, this is the one that did not go off. It's got a good hit on it. So before I do any more of the arms core, I'm just gonna go right on to the Winchester Super X. I've had pretty much the same issues with these that I have with the arms core. 
so let's see how they run. Alright, six rounds of the Winchester Super X. Alright, the Winchester Super X ran fine. Let's go on to the next one. The next up will be the CCI Standard Velocity. And I don't think I've ever shot these in any of my 22s. So, I can't say whether or not they run good. Because I've never shot them before. So this will be my first time shooting CCI standard velocity. So load it up, see how they run. Alright, I think that's it. Yep. And those are pretty quiet. I didn't think they would be that quiet. So, but they ran fine. All right, go on to the next one. The next I will be shooting Federal 40 grain round nose. These are what I squirrel hunt with. And never had any issues with them. So, let's get to it. Six rounds of Federal. Those ran just fine too. Let's jump right into the next one. And the reason why I'm moving so fast is because every time I come out to the range, someone always ends up showing up and when someone shows up, I shut down and I can't film. So uh, just trying to get through these as quick as possible. The initial, uh, testing of all seven rounds and then after that I'm just playing around and uh, don't have to worry about anyone being out here so loaded up six rounds of the CTI blazer so let's see how they run Those ran just fine. So far, the only one that I had issues with was that one round on the arms core that did not go off. Let's jump on to the next one. CTI Mini Mags. And I like these. They're one of my favorites. I haven't shot very many of them because I don't have very many of them. But I think I've squirrel hunted with mini mags before. I'm not sure. I usually use Federal or Blazer. Alright, six rounds of the CTI mini mags. Now that round number five on that sounded kind of weak, but it shot. All right, last one is the CCI Stingers. All right, six rounds of the CCI Stingers.
Uh oh. So, not exactly sure what happened there. I'm hoping I don't have a squib. It sounded like I might. So, and safety back on. Go ahead and pop all these rounds out. Of course, somebody had to show up just now. So, I will be doing a voiceover from now on. So as you can see, I am looking down the barrel, trying to see the squib load, and I'm not seeing anything, and there's no daylight coming through, and I wasn't going to flip it around and look down the other end. Luckily, the guy that showed up happened to have a steel rod, so I took the rod and I put it down the barrel, and it turned out there was no squib load. There was enough power behind that bullet to push it out, but it sure didn't sound good when it went off. After making sure the barrel was clear, I went ahead and loaded up six more stingers and gave it another try. All the stingers shot that time, but I still didn't like how it sounded. It sounded like it was just too weak. Right now I'm loading up some more arms core. I'm gonna go through and shoot six more rounds of all the ammo. The arms core ran good that time. It all sounded good and no issues at all. Here I am loading up six more rounds of Winchester Super X for round two. To my surprise, the Winchester Super X ran good again. I used to have a lot of problems with these in my other guns, and this is from the same box too, but they ran perfect this time. Now I'm loading up six more rounds of CCI Standard Velocity. These actually run pretty good, they're just a little too quiet, that's the only thing I don't like about them, but they shoot just fine. Now I'm loading up six more rounds of the Federal. No surprise here that the Federal ran perfectly. I've never had any issues with these before. Now I'm loading up six more rounds of the CCI Blazer. As always, I never have any issues with CCI blazers, so those six shots ran just fine. Now I'm loading up six more rounds of the CCI mini mags. I keep getting different results with the mini mags. Sometimes they sound weak like the stingers and other times they sound pretty strong. Now I'm loading up six more rounds of the stingers, but listen carefully to the very first shot. I 
I was pretty sure that I had a squib load that time. I didn't want to bother that guy and borrow his tools again. He was over there doing his own thing. So I went ahead and unloaded it and took out the cylinder and checked for a squib. But I wasn't sure exactly if I had one or not. So I went ahead and packed up and went home. It turns out that I did not have a squib, but better safe than sorry. This is the order that I shot these seven types of ammo in, and this is the order that I recommend. At seven and six, I do not recommend Stinger or Mini Mags. I read later that other people were having problems with Stingers too, uh, something to do with the length of the casing and uh, pressure difference. So uh, I do not recommend Stinger. Uh, mini mags I don't recommend because they just sounded too weak. Um, I've shot mini mags in five other 22s and never sounded like they did in the Rough Rider. Coming in at number five, I would put the arms core just because I still had that one dud. They run better in this than any other of my guns, but still number five. Number four, I would put the CCI standard velocity just because I don't like how quiet they are. They run good, but they're too quiet for me. Number three, I would put the Winchester Super X. They ran perfectly in the Rough Rider. No issues whatsoever with them at all. Number two, I would put the CCI Blazer. Still one of my favorite rounds. Ran perfect. No issues with them at all. And number one, I would put Federal. Federal has always been my favorite round. It ran perfect in this, no issues, nice and loud, and packs a punch. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you again next time.